Hello, my name is Sam Nesta and this is Arcadia. Arcadia is a sound and light installation that takes the living biorhythms of plants and converts them into sound and light. In 2020, I was invited to create a version of Arcadia on the campus of George Mason University and uh, it has been open and running since November creating a non-repetitive stream of music and light uh, that changes corresponding with the specific musical pitches um, that's being sent out by the plants. Yasmin Salem of Murals and Mason, along with Don Russell, the university curator, have uh, created a series of events uh, that uh, respond to Arcadia in some way. Uh, and tonight uh, is one such event. So I hope uh, you enjoy this evening. It's been, um, it's been wonderful uh, to see everything the students have created. And I thank Yasmin Salem and Don Russell for inviting me to give this little intro to their performance. Um, and I hope you enjoy. Hi. My name is Nicola Cash. I am a senior in Mason's Music Technology Department, fall class of 2021. I am excited to share with you today my sound art composition set under a collection of clips of nature drone footage. I attacked this project as I would sound for film using clips as scenes, the trees as actors, and Sam Nestor's Arcadia recordings as dialogue. I really enjoyed working with Arcadia because it's amazing that these trees, all plants, are already communicating. It, and now through music technology, we're able to understand that. So I tried to make sure in my project today that you're able to exist with these trees in a documentary style where the Arcadia is telling us how the trees are existing in this moment and allow you as the listener to be able to exist with those trees in that time. So I hope you enjoy my project entitled Jungle Arcade. Thank you. Thank you. 
My name is Bobby Lacey, and this is uh, Kendall Haywood, and um, we are Green Machine alumni. The song that I put together for Arcadia Project is a song called You Will Find. I was really inspired by hearing how much sound, how much communication was coming off of, of the plants and realizing like, wow, there's so many more things that uh, that meet the ear uh, instead of that meet the eye. And that inspired me to write the song, um, which kind of relates to a lot of things, of, especially when it comes down to just not understanding people in general um, and kind of, you know, profiling people for just what you see. There's so much more story if you maybe opened your eyes, closed your mouth and listened for once. That's why I wrote this song, because that, that Arcadia project is making me listen to something that I've only been looking at for a long time. Open your eyes If you want to hear me For I am as loud As you allow me to be I don't say much, but I'm loud in your eyes, and maybe silence is the best way to hear my mind.
Astaire. I am a BFA student with a concentration in drawing and my performance piece is a process video of a painting inspired by Arcadia. When I was listening to the music the rhythms reminded me a lot of geometry and knot work which are elements that I incorporate a lot into my art at the moment and so this time around I'm working in gouache on a wooden plate and am using patterns and shapes inspired by organic forms and the plants that are actually making the music in the greenhouse.
Hello, my name is Jamal Marcano. I have a major in music with concentration in music technology. This project is a collage of sounds that I recorded and edited along with uh, samples from the Arcadia project. I wanted to create something meditative that intensifies over time before dying down again. It is open for interpretation. I hope you enjoy. This is Metanoia. I'm Dr. Michael Nickens, Associate Professor in the School of Music here at George Mason University and Director of the Green Machine. I'm here to present the Greenhouse Improv Number 1 for Tuba and Electronically Enhanced Plants. Enjoy! Thank you. 
My name is Donnie Nolan. What's special about the Arcadia Rack to me, it's actually located in my greenhouse. It has my baby plants in it. I actually helped to order the plants and receive them. I've been taking care of them for the past year. I've also been doing research with them. So I've been taking the bio data that the Arcadia technology is collecting and actually looking at how the plants react to human interaction. For example, I watered the plant or I had students touch it and get excited at, at the plant and it would respond. It would change the music. It would change the lights faster and the energy just went wild when we gave it some wild energy. So it's very special to me for that reason. And it's extra special that I also get to perform to it. So I get to combine my personal fun fitness life as an artist with my full-time job as an educator and scientist. This is a really amazing opportunity and I really hope you enjoy the performance I provide. Um, it really helped me to slow down my aerial routine and really focus in on how much I enjoy doing it. So I hope you enjoy watching it. Thanks.
I'm Don Russell, curator for George Mason University in Fairfax, Virginia. I've had the great privilege over the last year to work with Yasmin and Sam and many others all across the university from facilities to advancement to the School of Art to many people in the administration to help us in realizing this intriguing public art project called Arcadia. I'm sure you will find it as intriguing as I did for the many questions that it asks. Among them is, how can we use technology to have an authentic relationship with the natural phenomena that surrounds us at all times? But also, how can it help us recenter ourselves at this crucial moment in our history? These are the types of questions contemporary artists really must ask, and I feel confident that you will find many of your own questions as well as you experience Arcadia. As Mark Cooley, director of Mason's Green Studio and one of our collaborators commented, Arcadia not only provides a human-made sanctuary for plants to grow, but provides an innovative and powerful way that we might not only listen to, but participate in nature's song, which I think is a very beautiful way to put it. As university curator at the youngest Research One university in the country, I see many opportunities for contemporary artists to engage in scientific inquiry, social science, psychology, well-being, social and environmental justice, and many other areas of academic research and concern. Art and science are both very similar and very different, but they've been increasingly alienated from each other in our technological society. I see it as a both-and situation, where the perspectives of each are made better through synthesis. The magic ingredient in this process, in the learning environment that we create, is for the students who can have amazing real-world experiences, not only in academics, but in following through to make things happen in a public-facing project. Art is a way to understand the world from its infinite and diverse possibilities. Art does not offer automatic or definitive answers, but it does excel at raising questions, and formulating questions is the very basis of all research arenas. And art may be the very best way for us to deeply understand our individual and collective agency in the material world. Heroes at Mason is part of Mason Exhibitions, which is in turn part of Mason's School of Art and Design. We provide visual arts programming across all three local campuses throughout the year. So be sure to check uh, Mason Exhibitions website. It's masonexhibitions.org. You'll find all kinds of great documentation of past exhibitions and other useful things for understanding uh, the world of contemporary art today. With all the restrictions during the pandemic, uh, please look for more outdoor and online projects that can be safely interacted with. If you go to the website, you will find all the information you need. Finally, 
In case you haven't looked up Arcadia in Wikipedia yet, which I'm sure many of you have, but Arcadia was um, a province in ancient Greece uh, on the Peloponnesian Peninsula, and it was home to the god Pan. Pan was the great flute player, of course. Our Sam Nestor plays the trumpet, but it's the same thing really, right? Pan was always worshipped in a natural setting. There are no temples to Pan. Um, so really he's accessible 24-7. Sort of like Arcadia will be for the next year until November 2021 and maybe beyond. Thank you. Hi everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to tonight's Arcadia Variety Show. My name is Yasmeen Salem. I'm the program manager for Murals at Mason. Arcadia has been such a fun project with tons of interdisciplinary collaboration over the last year. We're so grateful to have met and worked with Sam Nestor and demonstrated the intersectional applications that our projects can have. Thank you to all of our collaborators who have helped us use Arcadia in yoga, meditation, class projects, and concerts like the one you just saw. Please visit our website to see the other concerts we've hosted with Arcadia, learn more about Arcadia's role in research on campus, and see what other projects Murals at Mason is working on. Thank you and have a good night.